Sometimes you just heard that's the Windows 10 startup sound. I just turn on, turned on my startup sound with the sounds control panel. So anyways, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set the Windows 7 startup sound as the Windows 10 startup sound. So I did not modify my sound at all. This is the Windows 10 startup sound I just played. It's also the logon sound. Now some people think that Windows 10 uses the Windows 7 startup sound. Now, Windows 10 has win some Windows 7 sounds, not all, but some, in the media folder, but none of, but I don't think any of them are used. Well, most of them are not used anyways, but I enabled some of them. And what I noticed is that the Windows 7 startup sound was not there. So, yeah, so anyways, we are going to log into the computer and I am going to show you how you can do that. So let me just log in here. So here is my desktop. I actually decided to use a narrow like Carol Glass theme to make Windows 10 look like Windows 7. I'm also using the Arrow Glass for Windows 8.1 which doesn't work the best. But it does work for some time. So this is where I'm, the theme I'm using right now, the Windows 7 theme for Windows 10. So anyways, we are going to go to WinArrow Tweaker. You can also use this on Resource Hacker as well and go into imageers.dll. So I'm going to scroll all the way down until you see WinArrow Tweaker if you are using WinArrow Tweaker or Resource Hacker. I'm just using WinArrow Tweaker because I'm already using that to make it feel a bit like Windows 7. I'm also using OpenShell. But open WinArrow Tweaker. You have to click yes to use your account's control or this will not work. So go to Startup Sound, it should be one of the first things you see on the left. We're just going to play the Windows 10 Startup Sound again for a reference. My hand is shaking and it's getting really tired, but... Windows 10 does have some Windows 7 sounds in its media folder, but it does not have the Startup Sound. And the reason why people think it has the Windows 7 Startup Sound is because some people have changed their Windows 10 startup sounds to be the Windows 7 ones. And also some people think that Windows 10 has the Windows 7 startup sound in the media folder because it has the shutdown. But the startup sound here is a different one. And it's not even used at all. But the file where Windows 10 startup sound is used is here. Windows logon. Now the startup sound is also the logon sound, and I'm just gonna, since we're right here, we can play it. And I'm also gonna play the Windows 7 log off and log on. I mean, shut down. On later versions of Windows 10, you cannot re enable the logon or the shutdown or the log off. Like, even if you use regedit to, like, show them in the control panel, they will not, it, you will not be able to apply them. They'll still not play. In, for, in later versions of 10. So I'm just gonna run Winver. And my version of Windows is Windows 10 20H2. So on this one, you cannot enable the... Well, you can still use regedit to show the exit windows, but you cannot enable it, no matter what you do. So now, I am going to go to my Windows 7 startup sound, which I just say... Which I just put in this folder, in the C slash Windows slash Media folder, so... I know it's not going to be messed with, but if you set it in a different folder, that's fine. Just go to whatever folder you set it in, be it 
your desktop or even your downloads folder and I'd recommend you put it somewhere in your Windows folder or, or a folder that you wouldn't be able to mess with without going into trust and installer and changing the ownership. So this is my Windows 7 startup sound and I'm going to play it just to test. But if you want, you can just like use trust, like use the take ownership command or or like take it from trusted installer in the properties by going to the security tab and going to advance and like changing the owner but and replace this with your Windows 7 startup sound. That's something I would recommend. But make sure and I'd even recommend like keeping the name. Aim as Windows Startup, but this is what I did. I just put my Windows 7 startup sound here. So, now for one last time, I am going to play it, and then we are going to startup test and see if it actually plays or if the Windows 10 startup sound plays. Okay, now we are going to restart our Windows 10. So, when... Okay. Okay, it worked. Now, if you want to know why my Windows 10 looks like Windows 7, now I just have to tell the truth. I'm using AeroClass and a Windows 7 theme for Windows 10 to make Windows 10 look like Windows 7. So that's why my Windows 10 looks like Windows 7, and that's why this logon background is here, because as I decide to set it just for the Windows 7 aesthetic. So we are going to log in again. So yes, I was using this Cero Glass and, and I also added a Windows 7 theme. And if you want to know what else I did, I modified the cursor too. So I'm just going to go back And for my WinArrow Tweaker folder, which is right here. Now, I didn't create a shortcut because I didn't feel like it. So, I'm just going to say yes to this again because saying no, it will not work. Now, if you don't like the Windows 7 startup sound, you can just restore the default one. I don't know if this is going to work for me, but... I think it is, so we're just going to restore the default one. Okay, so that's it. the default sound should play, so I'm just going to reboot it. Not even going to bother testing. I'm just going to reboot it. So this is our Windows 10 startup sound. I just enabled the default startup sound. And the reason why I paused here and cut out a scene is because my head was getting really tired. Because I was holding this camera in my right hand and was doing all the mousing and shit with my left. So my right hand was really tired so I just had to pause it. But we did re-enable the default startup sound. So, yeah, so this is how to set the Windows 7 startup sound as the default Windows 10 startup. So Windows 10 has some Windows 7 sounds in the media directory, but not the 7 sound itself, unless you put it there like I did. But 
you can put it wherever you want. Like, I just recommend you put it somewhere where it won't be messed around with. I put mine in the Windows directory just for the sake of it. But yeah, I have nothing else to say here. Personally, I prefer the Windows 7 startup sound over the Windows 10 one, so I am going to re-enable it, re it for myself off-screen. So that's all for now, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.